Hey everybody, it's Sarah from the Ultimate Geeks channel, and I decided to throw out a new rant about Webkins and their prices and how they're ripoffs. I decided to do this because of all the haters on my Webkins rap video. Speaking of which, I made that for my little neighbor's daughter, and I just decided to make it into a joke and make it a hate rap. Everything in that rap is over-exaggerated. Webkins isn't that bad, so stop hating. Well, on to the rant. Um, you know, I remember playing with Webkins. I used to have about six of them. And I loved them. I would go on every day. And I didn't really care about the price. But once they started to expire, I heard that they were fourteen ninety nine. Now, as a little kid, that didn't mean much to me because I'm not the one buying it. But... It, I started to hate them after I realized that they just make you pay more and more as your webkins expire. You have to pay each time one expires because you need to get a new one. And that's just a ripoff. And what's really sad about that is that I was about nine at the time and I even knew it was a scam. And after my first one expired, I realized that this was a ripoff, and I shouldn't be playing it. And before you're all like, oh, Sandra, a nine-year-old can't tell what's a scam and what's not, that's ridiculous. Well, look at this. After I figured out what a horrible scam Webkins is, this is exactly what I wanted my Webkins collection to look like. I didn't want it to look like this. It's amazing how many people hoard and hoard these things, wasting their hard-earned money on a bunch of stuffed animals that expire after an amount of time. It's ridiculous. And don't even get me started on these stupid amazing hamsters that are trying to feed off the immense success of the Zuzu pets. I mean, even Zuzu pets are going downhill. What is Webkins going to do next? It's obvious they're running out of ideas. It's going to run into the ground. And it's a shame as someone respectable as Ty would even try and milk off the success of Webkins. I mean, heck, even Build-A-Bear tried at one point. It's ridiculous. But you know what? I'd rather much go on those websites instead of Webkins. I mean, who knows? They could be less overrated and probably less expensive than the Webkins counterpart here. And you know what? Here's a thought. Why don't you teach your children how to read and write and do things like that, and then maybe they'll be more successful in life. And I'm not talking about using a V-Reader or Webkins or any stupid thing like that. I'm talking about actually sitting down with your child and teaching them what this word means and this word means. Because I'm an avid reader, and I did not get. My parents sat down and taught me how to read, like what this word means, what this word means. I started talking when I was two, reading when I was three. I read Great Expectations in second grade. I started reading Stephen King novels in fifth grade. I mean, really? And yes, I know, it's not that way with every child. Not every child can pick up reading and writing as fast as I could or any other kid. But you know, maybe... If you did sit down with your kids and teach them how to read the old-fashioned way, quote, quote, then maybe they would achieve something more in life and be better in school, maybe get a better job. I'm just saying. She keeps them always shunned on In a pretty cabinet Let them eat cake, she says Just like Marie Antoinette Job in 